This is a typical wiring diagram of a push-pull audio output amplifier. Now if you take a look at the top tube or the top circuit and the bottom, they're pretty much mirror images of each other, pretty much identical. But they both share a single audio output transformer, T2. Now the primary of T2 is tapped and that is where the B plus is applied for both sides of this audio amplifier. Now both halves of this push-pull circuit are independent and it is the way that we use or drive these two amplifiers that gives us the advantage of a push-pull output and that advantage is a much larger signal swing back and forth which gives us a much larger dynamic range and better sound. Here is the audio transformer T2. You can see in the center of the primary there's a tap and that is where the B plus is applied and that supplies the power to the plates of both tubes. Now both the top half and the bottom half, the top and the bottom of that primary is always positive, but what I'm going to be talking about is the direction of the signal. If it's going more positive or going negative or less positive would be another way to look at it. Let's say the top tube is going more positive and the bottom tube, which would be conducting more, is going less positive or in the negative direction. That would give us across the entire primary the largest swing of signal and that would give us the largest coupling of the signal to the speaker and also the largest dynamic range. Now if we could keep this phase relationship going. In other words, here's the other direction. The bottom is now going more positive and the top is going less positive. It's also conducting more. So the signal is going in the negative direction. We would have the largest magnetic coupling in that direction. So to get the most signal swing, the tubes are actually working 180 degrees out of phase. When one tube is going signal-wise positive, the other one's going negative and vice versa. So this is the signal relationship between the two amplifiers. The output signal to get the biggest swing across the primary of T2 requires that the output of each tube be 180 degrees out from each other. In the video before this, 
we went through how one side or a one tube amplifier changes the phase from the input to the output. So what that means is to get the output to be out of phase that means that the signals driving the grids of both tubes also has to be 180 degrees out of phase. Now it's the same signal but they're 180 degrees out of phase. The generator's on and I hook both the scope leads channel 1 and channel 2 to the grids of both push-pull output tubes and as you can see the signal on each of the grids are 180 degrees out of phase.